on uh, September 7th night and uh, early morning of 8th, we are going to witness a long total lunar eclipse. Lunar eclipse occurs when sun, moon and earth uh, comes in a straight line and uh, sun and moon are, uh, are two sides apart and uh, the shadow of earth falls on the moon. So this happens only the, uh, during a full moon day. So lunar eclipse can occur only on full moon day and on that day we will see a blood red moon. The lunar eclipse will start from uh, 9.57 and uh, the shadow of moon will move, the shadow of earth will move on the moon and it will uh, proceed completely cover moon at around 11 uh, pm uh, on 7 and it will continue up to 12.22 uh, on 8 morning. So it will be about one and a half hour, one and uh, twenty-two, one hour twenty-two minutes, and then during that period the moon will uh, turn red, uh, blood moon or red color in color. This is because uh, the light passing through the Earth's atmosphere gets scattered. Only red light passes through the moon's atmosphere uh, and falls on the moon. And so the property of our light is to disperse in the uh, Earth atmosphere. So that is why we got a red blood moon and this is a long duration uh, eclipse we can say. Normally a lunar eclipse can occur from 1 minute to uh, 1 hour 47 minutes. So it, it is a long eclipse about 1 hour and 22 minutes. It can be seen from all the places of Orissa, India and uh, around 60 uh, percent uh, of the world population can see this uh, thing occurring and a very beautiful event if the sky remains clou cloudless anyone can see with their naked eye this uh, beautiful phenomena particularly students and teachers should see this phenomena and know more about lunar eclipses normally uh, lunar eclipses are of course every year if we go to, the, to uh, this uh, century, there will be around 224 lunar eclipses. So at least two lunar eclipses every year. There are few years, like uh, four to five years, when there will be no lunar eclipse. And the next lunar eclipse will be in 2026 March. And last one was uh, lunar eclipse was also in 2025 March. So the, the myth going around that lunar eclipses are very rare is not actually true. And lunar eclipse occurs every year. So at least uh, one or two eclipse occurs. So uh, this phenomena should be observed and scientifically it should be investigated and what uh, it gives uh, message should be passed on to the student and teachers.